What we're building up to there, Jamie, and it is edge of the seat stuff, is the attempted assassination of uh, an SS general called mm -hmm. Heydrich. Um, you'll watch the film to see if it was successful or not, but it wasn't as simple as that. It wasn't just like being able to kill this guy would solve all the problems. No, not at all. And, you know, there's a lot of doubt whether trying to kill this guy was the right thing to do for the people of um, Czechoslovakia as it was then. You know, there's a lot of um, people who were against the idea of it. He was the highest ever uh, Nazi to be assassinated. One of, one of the things that, through your character, we feel the fear, because your character's frightened about what he has to do. Yeah, as, well, for me, I mean, Killian's character is far more in control. He'd be the alpha of the relationship if he had to, had to pick one, and, and um, but I find Jan more relatable because he was riddled with self-doubt and, and uh, he had anxiety. As much as you think you'd be the sort of person who'd be like, oh, I'd be fine, I could pull the trigger, I could do it. The reality is that you'd be, I'd be a wreck, you and know? And this is a true story. Totally so true, So how much yeah. of the story did you know? Nothing. Uh, nothing, so you have to read up about this. Absolutely, yeah, yeah, which is, a, you know, it's great sometimes when you're playing a real character or you're, you're trying to tell a story that really happened because there's so much more to draw on in terms of research. But, um, I mean, Killian and I, neither of us knew anything about it. I mean, my, I didn't really listen. I wasn't a great student at school. <laughs> uh, history wouldn't have been where my attention was, was is that, heading. Is that because you always at school thought, I'm going to be an actor or I'm going to be a rock star? No, my thing at school was that I... <laughs> I, I don't know... I, I was lazy. <laughs> pretty, pretty lazy, pretty lazy. I was at school for, it uh, felt like I was there for different reasons than education in a way. I didn't always grow up thinking I wanted to be an actor, but I always knew I couldn't, I didn't have the right temperament, aptitude, whatever, to work in a, in an office environment. I just, I think every single person in a group, every person in this room probably has the same didn't start attitude out, and that's yeah. why you end up doing, making So where movies. did the acting idea come from? So if you didn't set out to be an actor, at what point mm. did you think, oh, actually maybe that's something I could do? I got an agent at a point where I wasn't sure I wanted to be an actor. You were modelling first. Yeah, I was modelling yeah. first. Yeah, um, but when I got an agent, I was modelling. I was working in a pub in Knightsbridge. So I wanted did you to do have tra acting lessons. No, I uh, not really. No, I, when I if I was ever in LA in the early years, I'd go to the classes and mm -hmm. stuff there. But I do think it's an instinctual craft. Well, Jamie, you do it very, very well, and I think this film's very good for you because it doesn't have me thinking about. 40, 50 shades, I can never remember medicine. 40, 40 shades of green and 50 40, shades of 40, grey. 40 shades is a prequel, that, yeah. That, that's it. But the good thing is, it doesn't have me thinking about that. From an actor's point of view, that can be a pressure, that can be a burden. Yeah, it, it certainly can be. Uh, but, you know, you do have to just see it as, it's, that's just one job. Yes, like, granted, it's a job that the majority of people know you solely for that, especially, you know, in the States or whatever. But, um... You know, you're, it is to to me and to the actor, and I'd, I'd say any actor who's involved in any franchise would say the same thing. It is just another job, and then you sort of move on to the next thing, and you play a different character, and then it becomes about that. I also find it interesting that you've got two Czech resistance hero fighters, played by two Irishmen. Yeah, you and Killian Murphy. <laughs> yeah. how did that turn out? Well, that's just the way of it, really. Um, you know, that happens. Stuff like that happens all the time, I guess. Um, uh, Killian was already attached to it when I when I got sent the script. I'm a massive fan of Killian's. Uh, uh, I'm an even bigger fan now that he's a mate, and we both. It's kind of we didn't stay in the accent or whatever. We were lucky that we had a lot of Czech um, actors in the scenes with us who were doing Czech accented English, so that was helpful. Um, but it's a bit it's kind of odd that two Irishmen end up. <laughs> well, the film Anthropoid was said it's out uh, on 9th of September. Does this mean you've got a break now? You're home with the family? And... I do have somewhat of a break yeah. now for the first time in a while, I have to say. So, uh, yeah, it's nice, although a break with two with kids two. under two. Well, congratulations, because we haven't seen you, but March you had your second. Yeah, daughter. February, February, yeah. So, yeah, so two very young. How old is your uh, Dulcie now? Dulcie's uh, nearly three, she'll be three in November. And how's she taken to being big sister? Loves it. It's brilliant. It's the most magical thing in the world, you know, when she wakes up the first, she just wants to see the baby, like, you know, instantly. And... How are you balancing things, Jamie? Um, you, you, you have the Fifty Shades trilogy, uh, you've got a film like this. To, to fit in, which must have been quite intense. And then you've got the amazing The Fall mm -hmm. uh, as well, which is back for another series. Back at the end of September. Yeah. 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 How do you pack it all in? 
Uh, you know, you just do. <laughs> but no, look, I love it. I want to be busy. Um, but I'm also aware that I'm, I'm a, you know, a young father and I want to spend time with my kids. So, yeah. you know, they come everywhere with me, which we can afford to do at the moment before the kids mm. start school. Well, listen, considering a boy that didn't work very hard at school, no. yeah. done all right. Done all right. Done all right. He's done, in fact, darling, he's done a bit too well to the point where I'm... Are you a bit jealous? Uh, well, you, you could put it down. <laughs> he's, he, he's a man I grew, as, as, as I get older, to maybe not like as much as I, as I did. <laughs> I mean, I'll just give you an example. There was a competition in Belfast to name a bus after a famous <laughs> Belfast person, right? Yeah. And it was whittled down between me oh, I didn't know and him. Were... Yeah, that was yeah. the opposition. Who do you think the great Belfast public voted to name the bus after? Yeah. Mm. Wasn't me. Wasn't me. It's probably Any... the most stoned bus in Belfast now. <laughs> I'd imagine people seeing my mug in the back of it. Well, at least of the name, I don't look like the back end of a bus, at least that's probably <laughs> why. That's probably why it didn't go to me. For more of the same, just click here. Did you initiate R. Patrick into Britain? Did you, was there any initiations uh, on the can't. Yes, well, it's embargoed. You can't really discuss the hazing um, and the, in, the initiation yes. ceremony. Yes, yes. <laughs> It's, the, it's a dark Masonic. <laughs> <laughs> were, um, they, were they tough, Patrick? That's all I want to know. Uh, it was what I needed to have at that time in my mm. life. He's, he's, he's more, better formed as a person. Yes, I, I've grown so much in the last <laughs> month. <laughs> <laughs>